Welcome everyone uh, to another set of videos in which we continue our journey to configure Business Central for our hypothetical client. Today is going to be a short video and it is a very easy uh, video to configure. Uh, today we're going to be configuring uh, currencies, uh, foreign currencies for that matter. And there are going to be two distinctions that I'm going to lay out to you uh, as a functional consultant. So the first thing that you need to know is that in the currencies page that when we actually go to the currencies page those are the setup for a foreign currency not for a local currency that your client will be using in business central for their financial reporting so uh, if you were to actually uh, set up a local currency i will just give you a recap i have actually demonstrated in one of my videos how you can do it it is in the general ledger setup so let's go to the general ledger setup and see uh, how you can configure local currency so as you can see in this uh, general ledger setup table uh, the page actually has a local currency symbol that you can assign and the local currency description which is canadian dollar in this case so this is uh, where the um, business central will look at when they are doing its transactions for reporting purposes so now let's go to configuring the actual foreign currencies and you simply in currencies and then go to the first link and I have configured three different foreign currencies for our demonstration purposes so as you can see it's a Mexican peso US dollar and euro so let's go into the card for euro uh, normally you would just click new and then uh, you'll fill in the information that is required so I'll just view it here for you to know what you really need or the most important fields that you need to fill out so you need to give a code which is relevant and usually it's the uh, three letter abbreviation of a currency so in this case we're going to keep it as eur descriptions of euro could be anything else or canadian dollar us dollar uh, symbol you copy and paste or there are symbols that you can use uh, with uh, with the business central environment uh, unrealized gains account and realized gains account that you need to get from your client so these are very important because these will capture the the <clears throat> foreign currency conversions similar to the losses account and the real unrealized and realized losses account so these are coming from your chart of accounts uh, from your client uh, other fields that you need uh, to be wary about are the English rounding and uh, you can use it as 0 0.01 or however uh, precise you need to be and uh, you can click the nearest uh, type so that would be the nearest to 0 0.001 uh, same thing as the rounding and decimal place so these are things that are minor but uh, it's uh, always a good idea to go back to your client and ask them uh, what should be in these rounding figures and uh, the second thing that you need to be careful or be able to configure is the foreign currency exchange rate so this is you setting up the accounts and the name and everything and now comes the actual part that you need to configure which is exchange rates so right now the way i have configured is you as a user or whoever the uses manually changes the uh, exchange rate so in this case it's one Canadian dollar remember I told you about the currency the local currency which is a Canadian dollar so it is respect to that that's how the system reads it so one Canadian dollar is in a relation with exchange rate of 1.495 of euros so this is how you uh, can actually set up and configure the uh, exchange rate there's also another way of uh, doing it with a live system uh, using a bank for instance and that is a very easy process except that you need a bank account or third party who will be providing you with the exchange rates every midnight for instance so you need to connect to them with their consent so if your client actually wants you to use that sort of a functionality you can easily do that all you need is their consent uh, some of the information that they will give you along with the name and the url that you need and you can easily do that uh, in business central by going to exchange rate service you simply set it up as exchange rate service and then it will uh, ask you to create a new exchange rate service with the url that you need to provide and you should be able to configure and update uh, every every time the rate is updated from the third party 
And that is how you configure currencies for your client.